Hey guys, how's it going? It's Uncle Zunky, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, the game where I die a lot. So in the first game you saw that I did, I well, didn't have the Wrath of the Lamb expansion, so I now have that, um, which is still a pretty old game, so it's definitely something I needed to pick up. But anyways, I still haven't unlocked any of the characters. I got so close to unlocking Kane last night. I played like 10 games last night. I did pretty terrible in all of them. You need 55 or more pennies at one time in one playthrough, and I got to 51 pennies, and I died. And so, yeah, I was pretty, you know, saddened by that. But anyway, we're just going to continue playing with Isaac until we unlock one of the other characters, and then we'll see, and uh, start right out next to an item room this time. So we get the virus, which is Poison Touch. Now, I had the virus in a previous game that I played last night, and I found out that if, if you have the virus and the Book of Shadows together at the same time, it's like easy mode when you kill bosses, at least for the starting bosses. Um... I think it was like Larry Jr. that I was fighting, one of the starting bosses, and I killed him incredibly quickly with uh, the Book of Shadows and the virus. If you don't know the Book of Shadows, is if you use it, it's an item that makes you uh, invincible for like 10 seconds or something. So yeah, that turned out to be a really, really good combination. So if I end up getting that item again, uh, we're going to be in a good place. So two spirit hearts are ready off the bat. It's uh, not a bad pickup. And now that I have the Wrath of the Lamb, of course, there's these spiders all over the place. Uh, I don't think spiders were in the original Binding of Isaac. At least I never saw any of them personally. So um, we're going to have to deal with those a lot. And there's a couple other new bosses, at least for the starting room. The, well, the starting floors that I never saw before, like the Widow was one of the bosses that I hadn't seen before. And there's another one. There's like this um, weird version of Gemini where, um, if you know what the Gemini boss is, it's like where two little monsters, there's one that runs at you and one that shoots bullets, and they're like attached to each other. And uh, yeah, there's one, a different version of him, which was, it was the same boss, but they just weren't attached to each other, and it was actually incredibly easy to kill. So um, yeah, I've seen a couple new bosses. There's probably more that I haven't seen yet. Um, I don't think you unlock like the Horsemen of the Apocalypse bosses until you beat your mom for the first time, which... I still haven't done yet, admittedly. Um, I've come close. And he, Oh yeah, here's another one. Pin. There's a boss that uh, I wasn't fighting earlier with the regular Binding of Isaac. So, and th this boss is pretty easy. It just uh, shoots a little bit and shoots these explodey bomb things um, that you want to avoid for the most part, otherwise they will do damage. Oh, there we go. That was bad. But um, I did get hit there, but I only lost half a heart and that completely owned him because the poison touch is incredibly powerful so uh, I got a health down pill or something telepills that's not very useful I hope not all these pills are bad uh, I seem to have pretty horrible luck with pills I get health down pills a lot um, which obviously are really really bad so maybe I'll get a, a health up health down okay we've had two bad pills and a telepills and tears up. So that was not a very good haul for pills. I actually I lost a spirit heart with the bad trip, which wasn't a huge deal. But then I got a health down pill, and those are really really bad. Um, in my opinion, probably the worst pills in the game. So I don't have a, a key right now. So hopefully I will get one of those pretty soon. So I'll unlock this item room. And I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to kill these spiders without getting hit. Um, oh, key, very handy. And let's see what's in our item room. The magnet. Uh, this is not very useful, I don't think. Uh, it just makes items come towards you quicker, which isn't exactly going to help my survivability all that much. I'm more interested in living and not dying. Uh, I don't really care that much about how fast items come towards me. Um, but anyway, let's try to kill this, these spiders without getting taking any more damage, of course, because I'm pretty low on the hearts at the moment. Um, one thing about this game is what really... I think stands you out to make you like, either good at the game or not is how good you can dodge shots and uh, I'm pretty terrible at it so yeah I just got hit again there anyway yeah I, like bombs will come towards me now which uh, admittedly isn't going to help me all that much so and let's try to get out of this room without taking any damage I'll do my best no promises though um, I have no idea how many episodes it's going to take me to finally uh, defeat mom and unlock the mom's womb portion of the game but uh, I'm doing my best, and I'm sure it'll it'll happen eventually. So here's a slot machine. The good thing with slot machines is if you gamble at the slot machines, uh, you don't have a very common chance, but there is always a chance. Maybe this will be a pills up, health up, luck down. Okay. Well, the pills during this run have been pretty awful. Um, but there is a chance that you can get a dollar out of the slot machine, 
And what we'll, that will do is that will unlock the Kane character for me. So I really want to be able to get that at some point. Um, I think, there we go. I unlocked Kane. Speak of the devil, I was just talking about how I wanted that dollar to unlock Kane. So, in future runs, uh, I can use the Kane character, which I'm really happy about. So, I'm going to try him out for the, the next episode of this. The next time I play Isaac, I will be using the Kane character, and he does a little more damage. He has a little bit less starting health, but um, I need to get better at dodging enemy attacks in the first place, so I guess the, the amount of health I have is not a huge deal. And we get a heart there, so that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable about facing this boss. We're still just in the cellar, so the bosses aren't going to be terribly difficult. Um, I should probably check out this last room and see if I can't pick myself up a heart or a key. And if I get a key, I can visit the shop and try to, I don't know, buy some sort of item that might be helpful. There's also an arcade, so, okay, that's pretty lucky. Um, I have tons of coins, so I can always visit the arcade and uh, try to pick myself up some items that may help there. Um, I'm probably going to die pretty soon, so this video won't be too long anyway. I don't have to worry too much about how much time gambling takes to, like, make the video length too long, since uh, I'm not good enough to survive for long anyway. And we got another bomb here. That has been happening a lot. Okay, so the arcade. Uh, I don't think I showed this in my first Isaac episode. Is this a good pill? Tears up. Okay, we got another good pill. Um, any pill that has uh, been unidentified yet is probably going to be something good because we've used up the really bad ones so far, I think, for the most part. Um, haven't seen a tears down pill, but we've seen a health down pill already, so I guess we could gamble at both of these guys. Uh, the little skull game here isn't really the most useful. Um, Oh, you gave us a couple coins. So I now have a key, so I can now go to the shop. I'm going to try to get myself one more key for the item room on the next floor, providing I make it that far. And I'd really like a, another heart here, to just to make myself up at full health again. Um, already have unlocked Kane, so I really don't have to worry about how many total money I have. Okay, we'll just try to get myself one more key here. And then I will be out of here. And uh, actually, I can gamble on the blood bank here, too because we have some spare hearts, so I'm going to take advantage of that. The blood bank has a chance of exploding, and when it explodes, it can give you a blood bag, which is a free health upgrade, so that is always really useful. Um, try to get myself some more hearts from these things, just so I, maybe I could gamble on the blood bank a little bit more, and that's going to be really helpful if that happens, if I get another health upgrade to make up for the health that I lost from that pill. Oh, and I just got hit by a fly there. That was a bit unfortunate. What I really need is hearts here. That's really really looking for hearts or a key to check out the shop. Make sure I don't get hit by these flies here. And uh, for the most part, the skull game is not the most useful. I think the best thing that you can possibly get from the skull game is um, fly love, which is an item that makes flies like unaggressive to you or something. So he showed up a key there. That'd be really good if I got that. But nope, I did not get the key. I keep getting hit by the hit by the flies that he pops out, which is a bit unfortunate. One more key, and then I'll head out of here. Just want to make sure I can uh, access the item room on the next floor, so that's really important to have that last key. Not getting a whole lot of luck here with this uh, chest. A couple more bombs, I'll take them. I'm doing pretty good on bombs so far, though, so I don't need too many more. I guess that dollar was a really, really useful item to pick up. Um, really glad that that finally happened, and I unlocked another character, of course. So other characters that I can unlock, I think there's one that you unlock just by defeating Mom. Um, not completely sure on that, but I think that's the case. So this is getting a bit tedious. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow up the Skull Game guy, because he's not being too helpful. So let's just explode him and see if he drops a key for us. Nope, he does not. All right, one more health, health up. Little heart would be nice. And... Uh, or a key, and once one of those things happens, I'll just explode this and uh, go check out the shop. The shop probably, there we go, there's a key. So I'm just going to explode that, and we get the heart that we we're looking for. Okay, so we're going to go check out the shop now and see if there's anything good. That took way too long in the arcade to uh, finally figure out uh, how to get that last key that I wanted. Okay, hopefully there's something good in here. Um, so there's a purple little bag thing. I actually have no idea what that is. Um, but I go, I'm going to pick it up anyway, just because I have plenty of money. More trinket room. 
That's what it says. Mom's purse. Does that mean like I get an additional item room for floor? Because that would be really, really useful if that's the case. So I hope that's what that means. Uh, I've never had this item before personally, and I've never seen an Isaac gameplay where someone got the mom's purse. So um, I really have no idea. Anyway, so we get the Duke of Flies, which is a really, really easy boss. So this one should not be too difficult. Um, I really hope, I really would like to get a uh, damage upgrade or a health upgrade from this boss. Um, I don't think that the Duke of Flies doesn't have a constant drop, so it's kind of random on the items that you can get from him. But um, my damage is very, very poor right now, so I think it's pretty important to get myself uh, some sort of damage upgrade, and that would make me feel a lot more comfortable about this run in general. Uh, maybe I should be using bombs to finish him off. We'll drop that bomb there, and yeah, that did a lot of damage to him, so... I should definitely be using bombs a little bit more because I haven't been using them a whole lot because, uh, well, it's kind of hard to aim them. Um, someone said in the comments of the first uh, Binding of Isaac video that I did is if you uh, do a bomb at, at when you're fighting the Chub boss, you'll actually eat it and it does a ton of damage to him, so I'll definitely keep that in mind. Okay, so um, Devil Room, we can either get a Dead Cat or Guppy's Paw. And what the Guppy's Paw does is you can use it to trade each of your regular hearts for three spirit hearts. The dead cat, I believe that's what that is. That's either Guppy's head or the dead cat. Guppy's head, I have no idea. But the dead cat um, gives you only one heart, but it makes you have nine lives. But both of those don't sound terribly useful. I'm not going to be picking up any Devil Rune item, items unless it's really, really a good one. Such as um, Brimstone is... I've picked up the only um, items that I've used... Oh, that was really bad. I just ran right into them there. I need to like uh, learn their attack patterns a bit better. The only um, Devil Room items I have used personally before are Brimstone, and I just got hit again, and uh, the Mark. The Mark is an item which like really upgrades your damage. That one's pretty useful, and Brimstone is an item that um, lets you charge shots, but the so it takes a while to shoot, but once you shoot, it, the, you have really long range, so it covers the entire room. And additionally, um, the shots do a ton of damage, so you can really take out enemies quite fast with the brimstone item, so I really liked that one. Um, so now we have these golden poop things, which um, inside of them there are a ton of coins, so those are pretty useful. I really could have used a damage upgrade. The health upgrade was nice, but um, my damage is pretty, pretty poor here. So, And I'm going to go back and get that heart that was up north here. Make sure I'm at full health. I'm only at three hearts, which isn't the best situation to be in, uh, but I'll do my best here. And we're fighting the Gluttony boss, which is really quite easy boss. Uh, mini boss, I should say. He's not even a regular boss. And I should be able to get him down without taking any damage. He's not using his little bullet rain shot, so all he dropped was hearts, which wasn't terribly useful. But I'll keep that in mind um, in case I take damage before I actually get to the boss room. I'll make sure to go back there and heal up to full health. And uh, we get a couple coins in this room. Not too useful. I do have plenty of bombs, so maybe I should be looking for the secret room. Although I don't know how useful that is because uh, most of the time secret rooms only house coins and I have plenty of coins. So, But anyway, I'll, I'll look forward a little bit. The secret room usually tends to be about in the middle and oh, I hate these things. They're incredibly annoying. Just make sure... Oh, yeah, I got hit there. Try not to die. And we get, a, we get a bit of slowdown. Every time you see these uh, things that shoot the green bombs that explode, it always seems to put like quite a bit of slowdown on your screen. So um, The best thing with these and all monsters that like run after you is just to try to strafe around so you get them all following you in the same route. And then you can um, run to the other side of the room and have them all just following you, which is often easier said than done. But um, we'll try not to take any damage on this room here. I mean, that is the general objective for the most part, is to not take a whole lot of damage. And uh, we're seeing our first item room. So again, with the mom's purse, it said extra trinket room. I don't know if it meant item room when it said that, and I'm actually going to get a second item room on this floor. But that would be really, really handy if that ends, out be ends up being the case. Um, so I hope that's what it means, and the boss room is also here as well, um, but we're going to explore the rest of the floor before we check out the boss room, and we get the x-ray goggles, which um, aren't terribly useful, but that's going to make me uh, be able to find the secret room a lot easier, so I believe what these do is, yeah, you can um, you can see secret rooms when you're in the same, when you're right next to them.
So there we go, secret room right here. And yeah, as I expected, it's just coins, nothing too useful. Um, so yeah, it wasn't the best secret room in the world. Usually they are just coins for the most part, and I'm doing pretty good on the coins, so I don't really need them. But let's go check out the rest of this floor before we fight the boss. I'm not terribly confident with my boss fighting ability here. Uh, just because my damage is pretty poor and my health is pretty poor as well. So um, luck-wise, this run has been pretty bad for the most part, um, to be completely honest. But that's fine. We have a mob trap room and also an additional secret room with an internal heart in it. So um, I don't know if I should be, be taking this uh, eternal heart right away because I know if you lose it, then you don't get to keep it on the next floor. So uh, we will definitely come back for that one. And I have no idea what this skull in the middle means. But yeah, okay, we can come back. So I will come back for that eternal heart, and I'm going to check out the shop here, see if there's anything useful. There is a compass as well as a spirit heart. So both of those things are pretty good. And I'm also going to pick up this card here just to see if it's anything good. Um, the moon. Hmm. I don't know what that one does. I know the sun card is a full health card, and it fully regenerates your health uh, when you use it. So let's just go in here. See if there's anything useful. There's just a gray chest, so most likely what's in there is just like some bombs or keys or coins, so I'm not even going to bother with it because uh, even though I have plenty of regular hearts around which can replenish my health, uh, I'd rather not go in that room just because, um, well, if I lose my spirit heart, that's just going to make the boss fight a little bit harder, so that, this is not the boss room. Hopefully we survive this boss fight, and if we do, we'll get an additional upgrade. Gertie Jr., I have never fought this boss before. I have fought uh, the regular Gertie before, and uh, he is kind of a pain, but he's not too difficult. So the Gertie Jr. is like the regular Gertie, but um, what he does is he actually charges around the room at you. So if I had the Book of Shadows here, that would be really nice since I have the Poison Touch, which does a ton of damage. Um, so I really wish I had the Book of Shadows item, but oh, almost got hit there. We're going to try to hit him with this bomb, and that succeeded, and we took him out, and we did lose our Spirit Heart. Um, but that's okay, we did not even lose any regular hearts. And we get the box, um, which is okay. The hero font, that is a good item. This one is going to give me two free spirit hearts. And the small intestine, or the umbilical cord, not sure what that does. And here's a telepills, um, I don't want that right now. We're just going to go back and get that eternal heart. And this run is shaping up to be okay. Um, it looks like I might survive a couple more floors. The problem is my damage for the most part. Um, I have not gotten any damage upgrades all floor, all of the floors so far, um, of course, except for the Poison Touch, but since I don't have the Book of Shadows, it's not a terribly useful item. Um, so my damage is pretty terrible. I don't know how well that's going to do. And basically what Eternal Hearts do is, as long as you don't take damage on the Eternal Heart itself, uh, when you go down to the next floor, you get a full regular heart. So it's basically like a free health upgrade, but you don't want to pick it up if you're going to lose it. Because if you lose it, you don't get the health upgrade. So anyway, uh, we have this Moon card, no idea what it does. Um, but this is actually turning out to be quite a long run. So anyway, we get a secret room right away, uh, just with more money in it, so it wasn't terribly useful. And we're just going to destroy these fires. I have, I'm just swimming in the cash right now, so I don't really need it. But uh, let's head in the direction of the item room here. Now that I have the compass, I can tell uh, which direction the item room is in. Is this a good pill? Tears up. So, okay. Um, I think our range is doing pretty good now. Yeah, my damage is still only at three. So I did get a damage upgrade somewhere since Isaac starts with two damage. I'm not sure where I got that. Um, but th my range is doing really good now, so I can definitely... Um, keep my distance from enemies since I've had several tiers up pills, which I'm fairly happy about, I suppose. And uh, let's just strafe around, make sure these guys don't catch me, and my damage is so awful. It's really taking forever just to kill these uh, kind of lower tier enemies. And there is a mob trap room here, another just gray chest, so I'm not even going to bother with that because usually uh, it's just bombs and keys in there. Oh! try to not take as much damage as possible. I did lose half of a spirit heart, but that's okay. Worse things have happened. Um, who knows? We might actually, you know, have a successful run. One of these times, I'm definitely getting a lot better at the game, which I'm happy about. Just trying my best to be better at dodging uh, the stars. I think what this does is it teleports you into the item room. Does it not? Yeah, it does. Uh, so what that does is it just... Um, 
Damage and health up. Okay, so that's a really, really good item there. Basically, what that stars card did is it just saved me a key. So that means I can visit the shop on this floor, um, which might end up to be a good thing. Well, I guess there's a key here anyway. And since I have the magnet, it comes towards me, so I didn't even have to waste a bomb. Um, so yeah, that stars card wasn't terribly useful, but I'll take it. Anyway, uh, the shop here... I don't think uh, you can get damage upgrade items in the shop that often, but I think we probably will be fighting Greed here, which, which is one of the mini-bosses, um, because I have visited two shops already. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the requirements are to fight Greed, but I know um, if you shop too often, you could often find Greed inside your shops, uh, which means I'll have to fight a little mini-boss, and he has uh, the chance of dropping coins and items and stuff like that, so... I'll definitely take up the challenge. He's a quite easy boss to face as well, so uh, we'll see if we can get anything good from him. And another key, getting pretty lucky with the key drops here. And actually, no, it turns out to be a regular shop. So uh, we have a spirit heart here, which I'll definitely pick up. We have the steam sail, um, but I'm getting pretty late on this run, so I don't think I'm going to be surviving for too much longer, so I'm not even going to bother with that. And a pills here, which is actually a health down pill, so I'm going to stay away from that one. Uh, definitely not going to be using that pill. Um, so there's no more item rooms or anything on this floor, so I think I can just go ahead and fight the boss. Of course, there is always the chance that uh, going back I might come across a Judgment or something like that, one of those little beggar guys, which has the chance of, well, if you spend enough coins on them, they al will almost always give you a health upgrade. So it might be worth checking out the rest of the floor just to see if we can't get lucky and find a, a beggar or some sort of item that is going to... Improve my damage or health, and look at that, speak of the devil, I just said, I was just talking about a beggar, in the very first room I explored, there's a beggar in it, that is absolutely perfect, so, um, for me personally, usually, these guys uh, give me health upgrades, after I spend enough money for them to give me the full item, and no, he gives me homing bombs, which is okay, um, that's going to make boss fights a bit easier, and I have quite a bit of bombs to spend, so I'm not going to argue with that, and uh, here we get a demon judgment. So what we can do with this guy is we can spend health uh, to access this guy. And um, in return he can give us much more powerful items. But um, you have a chance of either like getting an item on the first health or you can spend tons of health on him and not even get an item at all. So I don't know if that's, that's really what we're looking for right now. I don't know if that's going to be worth it. Um, but there is a great chest here which, um, you know, pick up a couple more keys or bombs or something like that. It's probably not going to be anything too great. Let's see if this pill is any good. Bad trip, so that's going to damage me. i um, not going to use that pill, obviously. Anyway, let's open up this gray chest since I have plenty of bombs to spare and see. Well, we get a heart and a bomb. Um, so I'm going to go back to the Demon Judgment and actually spend a heart here since I got a heart and I can replenish that and I have plenty of bombs to access him anyway. Oh, okay, well usually when you explode these, they're supposed to create a bridge. There we go. And we're going to spend a, uh, a heart here and see if... Oh, I exploded him. Never mind. I did not know that happened. I apologize. I'm still obviously a noob at this game. I did not know you could explode the Demon Judgment. So, oh well. Um, worst things could happen. I mean, odds are I wouldn't have gotten a good item from him anyway. And I'm going to get... Oh, I don't know how I avoided taking damage there. That was quite pro I must say so anyway um, again damage is doing really poor so um, I guess now that I have the homing bombs I might have to rely on them to do damage to bosses because I'm not just I just don't pack much of a punch uh, just on my own here and uh, reveals that secret room again I think there's supposed to be two secret rooms so maybe the other secret room is down by near where the boss is or no ever never mind it's actually just to the the west I see there's actually two secret room doors here um, so that's cool. We get the second secret room. Uh, there could be possibly something good in there. We might as well go check it out and see. And there's actually a red chest. Oh, no. And it con just contained a homing bomb in it. So that was kind of a troll, I must say. I was kind of hoping for an item because often red chests can really contain really good items. So um, that one was obviously a troll. Again, uh, time to fight the boss here, so let's see what it does. Um, you know, I do have this umbilical cord item, and I have no idea what that does. And uh, my damage here is still at 3, and the only reason for that is that cross thing that I got that boosted my damage, I think. Um, so I'm going to try to use some homing bombs and see how well they work. Usually homing items in this game um, don't actually do a whole lot of homing, so they're not terribly useful. And I just got hit, oh, got hit again, got hit a third time. 
that's disappointing. I'm really failing here. I apologize. And we get another bomb, which is going to be useful against the boss. What is the boss here? The Fallen. Okay, I have no idea what this guy drops. And isn't that bomb supposed to do some homing? I don't know. That's what I thought was supposed to be the general idea. And I keep getting hit. Oh, my goodness. Maybe not. And, uh, oh, my goodness. I had no idea this guy charged at you like that. Let's drop a bomb on him. And please explode. Yes, did damage to him. Okay. This is getting really tense uh, since... Well, as you go farther on in the game, the bosses, at least in my opinion, are much, much more difficult. So, now he's charging again. Let's drop a bomb. And, nope, didn't even hit him. And, yeah, I guess we're going to probably have to, like, lure him over the bombs for the most part if we want to really succeed. Whoop, whoop. I do have the poison touch, so if they do hit me, I do quite a bit of damage to them. So, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, um, but... Yeah, I am pretty close to dead, so we'll probably, uh, may survive this fight, may not. Going to drop a couple more homing bombs. And he's almost dead, going to use the moon card. Oh, and that's what that does. Okay, so now I know, I guess. <laughs> I had no idea what the moon card did before, and now I know. So, um, I think there was actually a health card. Yeah, there is a heart here. Um, okay, we're going to go back. And the boss is going to be full health now, so I'm definitely going to die against it. This is the first time I've ever faced the Fallen boss. And the problem is, my speed is so low that um, as soon as the boss catches up to me, he's immediately going to destroy me. And there's not really a whole lot I can do about it, just because um, his speed is much faster than mine. And I'm not very good at actually dodging pills. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go super attack mode here. And, oh, I can only drop one bomb at a time. Drop this bomb on him. Drop that bomb on him. Oh! And, uh... And there's two of them out now. Oh! And I died. So, I'm not surprised about that, really. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot I can do in that final boss fight, just because, well, for one, I got hit a lot by the shots, which wasn't very smart. And for two, um, that moon card, I thought it like restored your health or something because I had used the sun card before personally, and I knew that one was a full health card. I didn't know what the moon was that one does, so now I know, I guess. Um, the items in this run were incredibly, incredibly poor, I must say. Uh, we didn't get very many health upgrades or damage upgrades. We got a whole bunch of stuff like uh, the magnet and you know, crap like that. That isn't terribly helpful, but... Anyway, the next run I do will be with Kane, so stay tuned for that one, I suppose. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, so farewell.